development. For promoting women-led development, the budget carries an allocation of more than 3 lakh crore for schemes benefiting women and girls. The signals, this signals our government's commitment for enhancing women's role in economic development. Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan for improving the socio-economic condition of tribal communities, we will launch the Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan by adopting saturation coverage for tribal families in tribal majority villages and aspirational districts. This will cover 63,000 villages benefiting 5 crore tribal people. Bank branches in northeastern region, more than 100 branches of India Post Payment Bank will be set up in the northeast region to expand the banking services. This year, I have made a provision of 2.66 lakh crore rupees for rural development, including rural infrastructure. Priority four. Manufacturing and Services, Support for Promotion of MSMEs. This budget provides special attention to MSMEs and manufacturing, particularly labor-intensive manufacturing. We have formulated a package covering financing, regulatory changes, and technology support for MSMEs to help them grow and also compete globally, as mentioned in the interim budget. I am happy to announce the following specific measures. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs in the manufacturing sector. For facilitating term loans to MSMEs for purchase of machinery and equipment without collateral or third party guarantee, a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced. The scheme will operate on pooling of credit risks of such MSMEs. A separately constituted self-financing guarantee fund will provide to each applicant guarantee cover up to 100 crore rupees, while the loan amount may be larger. The borrower will have to provide an upfront guarantee fee and an annual guarantee fee on the reducing loan balance. New assessment model for MSME credit. Public sector banks will build their own in-house capability to assess MSMEs for credit instead of relying on external assessment. They will also take a lead in developing or getting developed a new credit assessment model based on the scoring of digital footprints of the MSMEs in the economy. This is expected to be a significant improvement over the traditional assessment of credit eligibility based only on asset or turnover criteria. That will also cover MSMEs without a formal accounting system. Credit support to MSMEs during stress period. I'm happy to announce a new mechanism for facilitating continuation of bank credit to MSMEs during their stress period. While being in special mention account, SMA account, SMA stage, for reasons beyond their control, MSMEs need credit to continue their business and to avoid getting into the NPA stage. Credit availability will be supported through a guarantee from a government promoted fund. Mudra loans. The limit of mudra loans will be enhanced to 20 lakh from the current 10 lakh for those entrepreneurs who have availed and successfully repaid previous loans under the Tarun category. Enhanced scope for mandatory onboarding in treads. For facilitating MSMEs to unlock their working capital by converting their trade receivables into cash 
I propose to reduce the turnover threshold of buyers for mandatory onboarding on the TREADS platform from rupees 500 crore to 250 crore rupees. This measure will bring 22 more CPSCs and 7,000 more companies onto the platform. Medium enterprises will also be included in the scope of the suppliers. SIDBI branches in MSME clusters. SIDBI will open new branches to expand its reach to serve all major MSME clusters within three years and provide direct credit to them. With the opening of 24 such branches this year, the service coverage will expand to 168 out of 242 major clusters. MSME units for food irradiation, quality and safety testing. Financial support for setting up of 50 multi-product food irradiation units in the MSME sector will be provided. Setting up of 100 food quality and safety testing labs with NABL accreditation will be facilitated. E-commerce export hubs. To enable MSMEs and traditional artisans to sell their products in international markets, e-commerce export hubs will be set up in public-private partnership mode. These hubs, under a seamless regulatory and logistic framework, will facilitate trade and export-related services under one roof. Measures for promotion of manufacturing and services. Internship in top companies. As the fifth scheme under Prime Minister's package, our government will launch a comprehensive scheme for providing internship, internship opportunities in 500 top companies to one crore youth in five years. They will gain They will gain exposure for 12 months to real-life business environment, varied professions, and employment opportunities. An internship allowance of 5,000 per month, 5,000 rupees per month, along with a one-time assistance of 6,000 rupees will be provided. Companies will be expected to bear the training cost and 10% of their internship cost from their CSR funds. Industrial parks. Our government will facilitate development of investment-ready, plug-and-play industrial parks with complete infrastructure in or near 100 cities in partnership with the states and private sector by better using town planning schemes. Twelve industrial parks under the National Industrial Corridor Development Program also will be sanctioned. No, Oh. Oh. Rental housing. Rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be. Just one minute. Rental housing, I repeat. Rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be facilitated in PPP mode with VGF support and commitment from anchor industries. Shipping industry, ownership, leasing, and flagging reforms will be implemented to improve the share of Indian shipping industry and generate more employment. Critical mineral mission. We will set up a critical mineral mission for domestic production, recycling of critical minerals and overseas acquisition of critical mineral assets. 
Its mandate will include technology development, skilled workforce, extended producer responsibility, uh, extended producer responsibility framework, and a suitable financing mechanism. Offshore mining of minerals. Our government will launch the auction of the first tranche of offshore blocks